Hey everyone, and welcome to another week of Kinder Chat. This week I am sharing a little hack on how to stay a little bit more organized with your to-do lists. So honestly, I am the worst at remembering things. I usually have post-it notes everywhere. I will think of something and go to write it in my paper planner, but I don't have that with me. I'll think of something in the shower or the car, and it's just a hot mess. So. I've been using this free app called Trello, and it is the best thing for me and for many teachers. I can access it on my computer or my phone, and it is super user-friendly. So I use it to create all of my to-do lists, um, and you can share it with other people or another teacher or your family if you wanna use it for personal reasons. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to use Trello and help you ditch those post-it notes. So here's how you can set up your school to-do list on Trello. So after you set up your board, you will have, you can create different cards. So these are just, you can click here to add a list and you can enter the list title here. So that's what I did with these four right here. So I have a daily task checklist, which I open first thing in the morning there is a before school checklist with a couple things that I need to get done. And then an after school checklist with a couple things that get done. And pretty much this is just the everyday checklist. You can check it off and that's it. Um, then I have this week. So at the beginning of the week, I sit down and I decide what I need to do each day. I try to keep it to about three things every day so I'm not getting overwhelmed. So for example, on this Monday, I'm going to check next week's lesson plans and submit, prep math anchor chart for lesson, and create parent-teacher conferences checklist and print documents. So these are the three things that I'm going to get done during the prep time. And what I do is I just open this up during prep time or before or after school, whenever I have a chance to work on things and I check it off. So it's easy to just check and that's it. So for example, if I need to add something to Tuesday, I click here for the checklist, and then I write down what I need to do. So maybe I need to make copies for next week. One, um, call John's parents is another one, and then send out weekly email. So those are the three things that I need to do each day. That way, if I think of something when I'm in the car, so let's say it's Tuesday morning, I'm driving to school and I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to do this. I can easily put it in here. Order scholastic books. Um, when I am in the car or at home, I can just quickly add it through my phone. So the phone looks very similar. Um, you can only see a little portion of it, but pretty much what I do is once I complete my checklists and it's done for the day, I move it into the completed. Now, let's say I don't get to something. What I can do is let's say I didn't get to do this send out weekly email. You click these three dots, you can convert it to a card and it populates a card right here. And what I do is I just put in it to do later. And so that way, when maybe I'm making my Wednesday to-do list, I see that right there and I know, oh, I need to still send out the weekly email. That's what I need to do. So this is just kind of my system that I use. Each week, I add a new card. I title it the day. And then I create my checklists just like that. And then you can also add another list. So let's say you had meet the teacher coming up soon. You could put meet the teacher here and you could create a checklist for meet the teacher. And then you could write all of your checklists here. So that way you remember everything that you need to do. So I hope that this is helpful with you as you are creating to-do lists and helps you not forget what you need to get done. So I hope that was really helpful in figuring out your to-do lists. Um, if you are looking for more organization tips, I have a blog post linked below where you can find a couple more organization hacks that I like to use as a teacher. 
And that's it for today. I'll see you next week.